Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome to the Potter Collector Channel and Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida, where we are going to take a complete tour of the wizarding world of Harry Potter. We're gonna look at shops, rides, food, and I will also be sharing tips and tricks to help you get a great experience when you come here. Now there are two different areas of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios Orlando. There is the Diagon Alley section, which is inside of Universal Studios theme park, and then there's the Hogsmeade section, where Hogwarts is located, and that is in Universal's other theme park on property here, which is Islands of Adventure. And the cool part about having two separate Wizarding World of Harry Potter areas is the Hogwarts Express connects the two if you have the right ticket. I'll tell you more about that, but let's head on inside Universal Studios. Now, Universal Studios in Orlando is so much more than just the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. But here on this channel, the Potter Collector channel, we focus on mostly just the Wizarding World of Harry Potter areas here. Now for those of you like me who need your coffee in the morning, Universal Studios has three Starbucks locations on property. One in City Walk, one here in the Universal Studios side, and one in the Islands of Adventure theme park. All right, we made it to London, which is where Diagon Alley is located. So we're in the Universal Studios theme park park. I know that can get confusing. So there's Universal Studios Orlando Resort, and within the resort, there's Universal Studios theme park, and then there's Islands of Adventure theme park. So two theme parks here on property, plus a water park, and another one being built soon, but as of right now, the two theme parks. So we're gonna explore London a little bit, like the night bus, and then we're gonna move into Diagon Alley. I have one slither and two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, when we are ready to board the Hogwarts Express, this is where we're gonna go. King's Cross Station. Now, all of the muggles have to go through the brick wall to get into Diagon Alley, but being a wizard, I can just app right in. Let's go. Ah, uh, we made it. Let's explore this magical alley. So here's the main stretch of Diagon Alley. You'll find a bunch of shops here, Madame Malkin's, Ollivander's, you saw Weasley's Wizard Wheezes and quality Quidditch supplies. And at the center, at the end of the alley, is Gringotts Bank, with a Ukrainian iron belly on the top. Now here in Diagon Alley, make sure you check out the two show offerings, Celestina Warbeck, the very famous singing songstress, who is also Mrs. Weasley's favorite vocalist, comes to perform on the Diagon Alley stage. And then there are two different puppet shows, and they perform two different Beatle the Bard stories. Let's go check out some of the shops. Tails. You know, that give you this. Weasley's Wizard Wheezes is the famous Weasley twin joke shop. Now at the very front, there are three shops connected to each other. Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, goes right into quality Quidditch supplies, 
And quality Quidditch supplies goes right into Sugar Plums, which is like a Honeydukes equivalent here in Diagon Alley. When it comes to house-related items, Quality Quidditch Supplies is a great place to get merchandise for all four of the houses. We're not gonna spend too much time in here because we're gonna save that for Honeydukes on the Hogsmeade side. You need school robes to go to Hogwarts. Madame Malkin's Robes for All Occasions is the place to go. Oh, thank you so much. So you can purchase robes in all four houses. And the robes are $139. They have both kid sizes and adult sizes. You can complete your look with house cardigans, house ties. Now we're gonna look at some of the prices in the different stores here. But, if you would like to see detailed looks and reviews of each of the stores here in Diagon Alley as well as Hogsmeade at Wizarding World of Harry Potter, check the description down below because I have posted links to each individual store which has prices, different sizes of different apparel. Check it out. The most important magical object a witch or wizard can have is a wand and there's no place better than Ollivander's. <laughs> Another thing to make sure you do when you come here is take a look at the different shop windows and how they're magically themed. Well done, dragon! You've got to praise the dragon. Harry Potter. Now here at Ollivander's you can get two different types of wands. You can get character wands, which are wands of the different characters from the Harry Potter films that we know and love, or Ollivander Originals, which are only sold here at Universal Studios theme parks. And the cool thing about the wands here, both character and Ollivander Originals, is they are interactive wands, which means that you can go around both Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade, as well as the other theme parks around the world, Universal Studios Hollywood, Universal Studios Japan, and use those wands there and create magic throughout the theme parks. Let's take a look at some of the wands. Here are some of the character wands that you can find. So all the wands here towards the back of the shop are the Ollivander Original Wands. Back here are the originals. They go based on a, more of a wood type, so they correspond to like something that matches your personality. It's just really up to what you prefer and a wand. And these are the wands that may choose you in the Ollivander's Wand Experience, which we're going to check out right now. To enter the Ollivander's Wand Experience, look for this sign right there and get into the queue. Makers of fine wands since 300 and no two all around the wands are the same, just as no two unicorns, dragons, or phoenixes are quite the same, and of course, you will never get such good results with a marvelous wand. When you are ready, give your wand a swish and a flick, and say, Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> And now, my young friend, off your curtain, right this way. Let's take a break from some shops and check out some of the wand experiences. My favorite wand location is right by Scribulus. You see a feather, right? 
Wingardium Leviosa. We're gonna levitate this feather. Now, when you're looking for wand experiences, look down on the ground and find these gold medallions and it will tell you the wand movement you need to use to cast the spell. Wingardium Leviosa. If that's not magic, I don't know what is. Now you can find the different wand spots by looking at the medallion on the ground, or you can check out the map that comes with each interactive wand. So when you purchase an interactive wand, it will have a map of both Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade and show you all of the wand magic locations. Magical Menagerie is a great place to adopt some pets. And yes, the dodgy place. Nocturne Alley is here at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I wonder what's up there. There are even interactive locations here. Incendio, let's see what this one does. Incendio. That looks like poisonous smoke. I really think we shouldn't go in here. Guys, you're making me go in here. What is that? When it comes to themed shops, this is one of the best here at Wizarding World of Harry Potter. On both sides, definitely check out Borgin and Burks. Gringotts Bank, no safer place, not one, except perhaps Hogwarts. Now Gringotts Bank is actually the ride here in Diagon Alley. It's called Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts. Well done, Dragon! <laughs> Now here at Escape from Gringotts, they have lockers. You need to put your stuff away if you're going to ride the ride. If you don't want to ride the ride, you can tour Gringotts, which means you just go through the queue, which is beautifully themed, and you actually go into the atrium of Gringotts Bank. You can see goblins. So even if you are not going to ride the ride, definitely take a tour of Gringotts Bank. To make the goblins look more lifelike, just like this guy here, they have facial recognition. So if you stare at one of the goblins, they're gonna stare back at you. Go directly to the office at the end of the club. From there, you will be escorted to the vaults. Well, that's all.
And this is some of that detail I was talking about. Daily Prophet newspapers with moving pictures. Harry Potter is the undesirable number one. What was that? The Weasley's wildfire whiz bangs. The lifts were taken down to the car station. You must be at least 42 inches in height to ride. Unless you are a goblin. <laughs> The cool thing about the elevators or the lifts, the floor moves up and down to make it feel like you're going down underground. Now this is a 3D ride, so you're gonna wanna pick up some 3D goggles after you get out of the elevators. Now when you've exited the ride, you can go get your stuff in the lockers, and it also dumps you into the magical shop Wise Acres, so you can check out what they have there available. Let's do that right now. $27 for this fun Diagon Alley t-shirt. And then attached to Wiseacres is Scribulous, which is like a quills and ink and parchment and paper store. $25 for this Hogwarts journal. Very fun greeting cards with Mina Lima designs on them. I think it's time for some butterbeer. You have to have a butterbeer if you come to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Now on the Diagon Alley side, there are three places to get butterbeer. One of them is the famous Leaky Cauldron, and that's the restaurant here in Diagon Alley, so you can get breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The second place you can get butterbeer is the Hopping Pot, and that's located by the Diagon Alley Performance Stage. And the third location is the Fountain of Fair Fortune, and that's usually the best choice when it comes to getting a quick butterbeer. When it comes to food at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, the Leaky Cauldron, I feel, has the best options and the best variety. And atmosphere-wise, I mean, come on, it's the Leaky Cauldron. You have to eat here at least once. Now, all of that said, I'm saving my food appetite for the Three Broomsticks, which is on the Hogsmeade side. Now, a little secret about the Fountain of Fair Fortune. If you would like to get soft serve butterbeer ice cream, you can get it here. You don't have to wait in the really long lines at Florian Fortescue's, which is the ice cream shop here in Diagon Alley, to get soft serve butterbeer ice cream. Now, you can't get the other ice creams that Florian Fortescue's offers, but if you wanted the soft serve butterbeer ice cream, which, if I do say so myself, is a must, you can come to the shorter line at the Fountain of Fair Fortune. All right, guys, I got three of the seven different butterbeer variations you can get here at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. We have the cold or the original. It's like a carbonated soda. The hot butterbeer, which you can now get year round, and the frozen butterbeer, which is like a butterbeer slushy. You can also get butterbeer in like a custard, it's called the butterbeer potted cream, butterbeer fudge, and two different types of ice creams, both soft serve and hard packed. So let's give these drinkable butterbeers a try. Cold tends to be my favorite, so we're gonna go with that first. And you have to give yourself a butterbeer mustache when you drink butterbeer. When it comes to overall mouthfeel, I think this one's my favorite because of the soda carbonation. On a really hot day though, the frozen butterbeer, that's something that's gonna cool you off. And last but not least is the hot butterbeer. Now, this is how butterbeer is supposed to be served and how it is served in the Harry Potter books. It's creamy, it's sweet, it goes down really, really smoothly and warms your entire insides up. Now, butterbeer flavor-wise is a butterscotch and shortbread drink and is non-alcoholic, so you younger witches and wizards, can drink as much as you want. Now every witch and wizard has to relieve themselves, so if you need to go to the bathroom, find the dragon, make a left, and the bathrooms will be right by the umbrella here. I love Florian Fortescue's, lots and lots of ice cream that the wizards leave. 
Now when it comes to Florian Fortescue's, even though it's a long line, it is well worth it. They have some really delicious hard packed ice cream flavors and a huge variety of soft serve flavors. It's definitely one to check out if you like ice cream. I think it's time to board a train and go on to Hogsmeade. Now to board and ride the Hogwarts Express, you need one of two things, either a park to park ticket, which allows you to visit both theme parks in one day, both Universal Studios, which is where we are here, and Islands of Adventure, where we're traveling to. That's where Hogsmeade and Hogwarts are located. Or an annual pass that will give you access to both theme parks. So if you would like to ride the Hogwarts Express, make sure that you have a park-to-park -park ticket and not a single park ticket. And if you do accidentally purchase the wrong ticket, you can upgrade your tickets at King's Cross Station and Hogsmeade Station. So at this point at King's Cross Station, you're technically entering the other theme park. Hey, how are you? Good. Thanks so much. Just go through the wall? Between the platforms of nine and ten, platform nine and three quarters. Hedwig, how did you get out of your cage? One of the most magical parts of the Hogwarts Express is leaving one station and arriving in another. So we left King's Cross and now we're in Hogsmeade. Beautiful, snowy Hogsmeade. Before we explore Hogsmeade, I'm very hungry. So let's go to the Three Broomsticks to get my favorite dish, fish and chips. Even if you don't come in here to eat, definitely come in here to check out the beautiful aesthetic. When you order, you'll be sent to one of these register numbers. And once you're done placing your order, you go to the corresponding number at the pickup counter. Now, I usually eat on the patio outside of the three broomsticks because you get this great view of Hogwarts Castle. All right, I got the rotisserie chicken, which comes with roasted potatoes, phenomenal roasted potatoes, I must say. 
corn on the cob, and I also got the kids' fish and chips because you have to have fish and chips when you come to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Now, a little known secret that a lot of people don't know, it's not really a secret, but you can order from the kids' menu and they have a kids' version of the fish and chips meal. It's half the price. You get one piece of fish, some grapes, tartar sauce, and the chips, or they're more like wedges. So if you wanted to just try it or don't have a big appetite, this is a good option for you. Now, in addition to the food offerings here, they have some really fun drink offerings, both at the Leaky Cauldron and here at the Three Broomsticks. I just got water with this meal, but my favorite here at the Three Broomsticks is the pear cider. Really, really good. It's a little bit tart. The pumpkin fizz is also phenomenal at Three Broomsticks. And then at the Leaky Cauldron, the Otter's Fizzy Orange Juice phenomenal. It has a cinnamon sugar ring around the cup and it's like a fizzy orange juice. So give those a try. I have not had the potatoes for a while so let's see how they taste. As good as usual. They're perfectly seasoned. There's rosemary in here. It almost tastes like chicken stock maybe to make them really nice and moist. Really oily. Just absolute perfection. But you guys have been hearing me talk about the fish and chips so you probably want me to taste that next. Let me rephrase that. It's what I want to taste next. Mm. Hands down, the best food dish at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. When it comes to authenticity of the fish and chips here, when compared to the United Kingdom, I have friends from England who came and said, the fish and chips here are better than over there. The wedges are kind of your basic wedge. They're potato wedges, just really good, well seasoned. That right there is perfection when it comes to rotisserie chicken. Now, if you would like to see all of the food offerings that they have here, I have done multiple videos where I eat all of the food at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, both here in Hogsmeade at the Three Broomsticks and Diagon Alley at the Leaky Cauldron. You can find all of those videos here on the Potter Collector channel. Now that we've been fed and watered, let's explore Hogsmeade. Let's take a look at candy. And there's only one place to do that, Honey Duke's Sweet Shop. Chocolate frogs. Each pack's got a famous witch or wizard card in it. I've got about, well no, I don't have 500 myself, but. Ron does. And also inside is a solid milk chocolate frog. These are $13 or three for $33. And what's the other magical Wizarding World sweet? Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans. Also $13 a box. And they mean every flavor. Chocolate, peppermint, spinach, liver, tripe, even vomit. In addition to the packaged sweets, they also have sweets in their sweet case. Fudge, cupcakes, cauldron cakes, pumpkin cakes, caramel apples, all delicious and all magical. Still the best ride in the park in my opinion, Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. Still the best ride in all of Universal Studios, especially Wizarding World of Harry Potter. By far the best ride, so good. And at the exit of Hagrid's, you can get some of his magical creatures, like a unicorn, a phoenix, and his wand. All right, it is time to finally go to Hogwarts Castle. Now inside of Hogwarts Castle is a ride, but you can also check out all of the themed rooms that they've put in here. It's all part of the magical queue. So let's go tour Hogwarts. There's a little hidden cave that people don't go into. So don't start going into it because it's my hidden cave right here. But just off of the queue, there's a little 
area and you get a really nice view of Hogwarts. Take a look at this amazing detail. I wonder if we'll find a basilisk in there. Let's not try to find out. Shall we do some herbology? Off to the greenhouses. Let's see if we can find Professor Sprout. She might be repotting mandrakes. of an expert on magical insects. Would anyone care to venture a guess as to just what captivating creature I have in this jar? Hmm? Tell me the next great witch or wizard could be walking through this room right now. Potter, Potter, Potter. That excrescence wouldn't even make a substitute on the Slytherin team. Distinguish themselves as fine witches and wizards. A few it's true. When you exit Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, which is the ride inside Hogwarts, you're dumped into Filch's Emporium of Confiscated Goods. It's a shop full of lots of Wizarding World of Harry Potter merchandise. You can also get your robes here at Filch's Emporium. Something fun about Filch's is all of the employees are students who are in detention. So when you visit this shop, go up to an employee and ask them why they are in detention. Yes. Flight of the Hippogriff is kind of the, the kitty coaster. Very, very fun though. But in the queue of Flight of the Hippogriff, you get a great view of Hagrid's hut. So let's take a look at that. The sun is setting on Hogwarts Castle. And that also means that our day is coming to a close but I want to take you to the bridge, which is an amazing place to get photos of yourself or your family in front of Hogwarts Castle. I've seen lots of proposals on the bridge. It's just, you'll see. To get to the bridge, find Hogwarts. And you're gonna go this way, towards Jurassic Park, the Jurassic Park area. And when you look to your right, the perfect Hogwarts photo spot. Now when it comes to butterbeer here in Hogsmeade, you can get it in four locations. The three broomsticks, the hog's head, and two butterbeer carts. One is located towards the front of Hogsmeade, and another cart is located by Hogwarts Castle. Hey, 
And after you've had your fill of butterbeer, you're going to need the toilets. You will find the girls' and boys' restrooms right here. And don't share too many secrets because Moaning Myrtle is listening and talking too. Alright, Incendio. So ends our day here at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that this video was helpful as you plan for your trip to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I have a wide range of videos here on the channel. Food videos where I eat all of the different foods and tell you about those. Shop tours as I mentioned. Going through every single one of the stores. Showing you every piece of merchandise that they have for sale with prices and sizes. As well as point of view videos of all the Harry Potter rides. All of that can be found in the description down below. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. A little bonus tip. Say you left the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and the park is closed and you forgot to purchase that one piece of merchandise that you really wanted to get. Well, you have a second shot to find it here at the very front, the trading company. It is the store at the front of Islands of Adventure that has merchandise, Wizarding World of Harry Potter merchandise, as well as other Universal Studios merchandise, but you may be able to find it here. Another option if you're in the Universal Studios theme park, because right now we're in Islands of Adventure, there's a Universal Studios store at the front of the Universal Studios Park, and in CityWalk there is a gigantic Universal Studios store with a huge room dedicated to just Harry Potter merchandise in CityWalk. So, if you forgot to buy that piece of merchandise or wanted to get a second chocolate frog or something, that's going to be a great option for you. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome! We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?